social media is ruining your life. If you can't focus, if you don't have motivation, if you don't have energy to do anything difficult like going to the gym, work on your business, study, reading a book, if you find these things hard, it's not your fault. It's because of social media is designed to literally suck your energy, suck your motivation and attention because these platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, they make money out of your attention. Why do you think these apps are free? Because they sell you. The more time you spend on the app, the more advertising you see and the more money they make. So they specifically do everything to get you hooked for hours and hours. And all these platforms are fighting each other for your attention. They have the best teams, the best software developers, the best tech guys to get you scrolling over and over again. And doesn't matter if you are a consumer or a creator. I was constantly on my phone addicting to create content but to create content you need to search content you need to <laughs> find the best one and like give it, it your touch this video that i'm making right now i just watch a bunch of videos of motivation and dopamine and like did my research to make this video and basically i'm spending time on these apps and constantly checking my phone like first thing in the morning I would check my notifications, check my message, go on my sleep app to check my sleep, go on my YouTube status, see new subs, see new comments, go on Instagram and see my views, go on TikTok, every place possible, check my mail, check my bank accounts, all these things. And I was seeing myself like 20 minutes, half an hour in bed, still in bed, checking my phone, and this cycle would repeat over and over during the day. Like I'm on a line in a supermarket and just get my phone and do this cycle. I'm waiting for someone. I am doing this. I just have constantly during the day this urge to check like every fucking platform. And this urge of checking your phone is so fucking hard. Sometimes you grab your phone to see what time is it. And when you notice like 30 minutes have passed scrolling, bro. Like you start opening these apps on your phone. It's completely ridiculous. And I, I, most people are not even aware of this. Like for me, I have one tip that you can implement right now is just change your wallpaper to something like a black skin with the word don't scroll something like that i have a, a motivation quote from david goggins that helped me when i see that i'm not gonna scroll or at least <laughs> it helps a little bit but you can implement one thing that to remember to, that these apps are designed to suck your attention like to keep wasting time and you don't want to do that because it's the reason why you can't focus you can't work you are used to this instant pleasure like this easy gratification and then when you are trying to do hard things that doesn't release so much dopamine because like this dopamine is the hormone that makes you feel good like this reward thing that you receive every time you scroll on tiktok you receive this it of dopamine in your brain and your brain doesn't care if it's good or bad for you basically it doesn't know it's just zeros and ones and if it's good for your brain it will tell you like keep scrolling keep scrolling like that's why it's so hard to stop <laughs> this mindful <laughs> like intense scrolling because your brain doesn't give a fuck and your receptors, your dopamine receptors are fried with this cheap dopamine of social media. And when you try to read a book, it releases dopamine, but it's not even comparable from if you put a side of TikTok or reading a book, of course, like two minutes in, your brain will tell you like this book is fucking boring. I, I don't want to do this. Go back to the other, the other thing that you are doing because that's how your brain works like it, it's literally not your fault bro you can only contra control about like 10 50 percent of your actions co uh, consciously like 90 percent is working on your subconscious so 
the way you can fix this is basically have systems in place and being aware of this so you can stop it and one thing that you can do is cut every app every instant gratification like all this cheap dopamine that comes from social media like eating junk food porn video games it's just instant like you are playing and that tells your brain that this feels good and if you are used to these activities you can do the other one so you can't like just get one thing you need to reduce tremendous to your receptors being like a normal human being being able to do art stuff is just doing this for me i i cut all the other things but i was still going on my phone like tons of hours per day like i i'm i'm editing there i'm dead editing reels there i'm creating posts i'm searching content all of that but besides that i was still like constantly checking my views checking my my notifications on like uh, clients comments miles if i book more calls everything and basically that was sucking tons of energy because you have that thing in constantly in the back of your mind so what i'm gonna do from like the next seven days is just the experiment to see if it works how it feels because like i said i work a lot in my phone unfortunately but i will try to spend the next seven days without checking my phone for at least at least bare minimum the first eight hours ten hours of the day because that will make me uh, do the things in advance i can plan things i can plan my reels i can edit stuff in advance that will help with my youtube and also i have the the that couple hours at the beginning of the day with 100% focus that I can use to improve my communication, improve my skills, improve my sales, like learn because I don't have constantly thoughts in my the back of my mind, like worry about what is going on your on your phone or even this urge to grab your phone, bro. Th that's fucking annoying. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I want to do. And at for example 5 p.m 6 p.m our heavy if everything done for the day i can use my phone a little bit more like to to talk to people like to to search content to to prepare things for the other day like to listen to music podcasts but try to reduce your time in those apps that's what i'm gonna do because i was the last two weeks i was seeing myself scrolling a lot and not having the motivation to record these videos don't have the motivation to even sorry to even work out bro because like i said it's all about dopamine and your receptors to do our things if you keep doing like this seek seeking this cheap dopamine you can't do hard stuff but it's, like it's not your fault bro it's your brain which is fucking stupid and just see this as this gives me dopamine this doesn't gives me dopamine so it will always seek the pets with least resistant because that's how our brain was made like this this is survival thing and of course i'm gonna choose the, the easy pets because it's easier so having this ability to seek the difficult paths is it's like a skill that you can build up and work and that's what i'm gonna do there so let me know in the comments if you're gonna start this dopamine reset to being able to do the work again like and feel motivated feel energy feel like good in general so Leave a like if you like and see you on the next one. Bye.